Good evening, folks. This is Darth Rabbit07 coming to you tonight with another Micro Galaxy Squadron quick review. I got a hold of the Special Forces TIE Fighter from the Force Awakens movie. But before we get into that quick review, I need to do a little bit of homework. Let's make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the stuff down below. Thanks again to my subscribers. Let's help my channel continue to grow by doing all those things. Thank you again for my subscribers. Let's get this camera turned around and into the quick review. And there is the Special Forces TIE Fighter on the turntable, looking awesome. I love the colors on this. I love that we get these little figurines in a blister, and he just goes down inside of there, and probably once he goes down inside of there, he won't be coming back out on my copy in particular. He is part of Series 5. You got a uh, Starkiller base in the background there, and uh, on the back side, you got the functioning 360 uh turret under the bottom there that Poe and Finn had a lot of fun in the beginning of Force Awakens. You can slide those on and off obviously and uh, it looks like a uh, more meteor TIE fighter than you know over the original trilogy. The sequel trilogy did one thing really good and it's these TIE fighters. I thought so so much. You got co-cells for the Poe Dameron from the Rise of Skywalker, the B-Wing from Return of the Jedi. You got a black stealth uh, V-Wing that I was actually hoping to get my hands on since these were brand spanking new and one of the hologram Luke and R2 uh, X-Wing fighters, but the chase is on for that. I wish they would do away with the chases and just make cool stuff like this available for all. And the other side of the box and pause and scan here if you're looking in your neck of the woods it's a good time to go and hit those targets especially right now guys and uh keep a weary eye on those walmarts uh some of the walmarts are starting to get stuff in i hope that helps somebody find their stuff or a chase or a rare or just do away with the rares and chases jazz wears pretty please all right with all that said and done let's get this bad boy out of the package go through the little blister with the figurine and get some measurements on this new pickup before we get into the meat and potatoes there just wanted to go through this guy right here and look at the how shiny that is in the package there it is uh pretty dark out here and uh you just get one figure this thing is actually a two-seater as poe and finn demonstrated in the movie so we're going to get this guy opened and take his measurements getting on down there with the little guy before he falls on his face again and stuff he stands right about the 7 8 mark uh, on the measuring tape there. This tie's actual width from foil to foil is 3 and an eighth there. He stands about 4 and a quarter inches high for both of these foils going high. Width wise on the side there. We have three and a half from this to this, and uh, the, the fuselage itself from top to uh, from the bottom of the bear, the cannon. I'm sorry, let me get that up there. Sorry about that, guys. You can see barely against the black backdrop. It's about one and a half inches from the cannon bottom to the top of the thing where it opens up a little bit differently than the standard TIE fighter. So there's a little slot here on the inside here and I'm gonna pull this wing off real quick to demonstrate. There's a little notch that you can get a hold. Actually, there's a notch right here in the bottom there. Sorry about that, guys. You can actually like, flip this thing open very carefully to reveal that it is in fact a two-seater and you got room for two Micro Galaxy Squadron figurines that can fit down in there. I'd love to get a Poe and a Finn and I'll have to buy this again, but I got a feeling the marketing geniuses at Jazzwares will probably do another one of these and have a Poe and a Finn. They should have had two of these uh, tie pilots though for prosperity. So we're gonna get that little guy in there right now and put that weed back on and get into the meat and potatoes. For ease of access, I just went ahead and took off the other tie foil there. So we got those laying down below here off the camera. And we're going to go ahead and, and work this guy into his cockpit seat. This is a great deal easier than it was with the tie fighter. And I just wish we had another one of those guys to go in there with this guy. So that's pretty freaking sweet, sick, all the good stuff there. So now that he's down in there, let's close this back up and get this thing back together. I've always wondered what a tie looked, with, looked like without its stuff. And we just go ahead and take a look at the detailing and the stuff at this level. Very, very good. You got the thrusters there on the back. You got a back window that you can look out of. This does rotate around on that little, it's got like a little clickety pew pew pew, bang, bang, bang. So he can shoot backwards and 
bombing forwards and what have you. I mean, boom, he's got, this thing's got it covered. This is very, very clever, little, simple, and I like that antenna there too. Uh, such an advantage over the original TIE Fighters. Let's go ahead and get those foils back on and get this thing into shape. Of another special note guys, it's got a keyed thing where this is flat here and you got a flat there. So you want to match the flats up and push them together. Goes one way, you can try to do it the other way, but it might break your tie. Same thing here, you got the flat side right here and you got the little flat edge there. So we're just going to go ahead and line that up, boom, fits like a glove. Let's get it back on the turntable. And for the bad guys, TIE Fighters in the sequel trilogy, I thought these were standouts. I absolutely love the way this thing looks. And those that were lucky enough in the Black Series uh, to get that bigger uh, six inch uh, first order TIE pilot, it, he came with his own one of these and it took like a, its own zip code of your man cave or your residence and stuff. So I mean, I'd love to have had that, but this is going to be nice on the shelf. This is my hand compared to it. I mean, this is better scale by every stretch of the imagination. The only thing that's bad about these things is you could lose those pilots as they're not in the cockpits. But let's go ahead and take a look more at the detail on the side there. That is just impeccable, beautiful. It's got that shine that makes it really pop since it's black. And then uh, I love that they got the white there. It's kind of like an inverse of the TIE Fighter, right? So, I mean... This is just awesome. I love the way, like I said, the thruster detail and that beautiful orange rear window. The little swivel of the, the blasters, that's how they shoot backwards this time. They're not totally defensive, uh, defenseless this time. And you know, it can go all the way around in 360 there on that hinge. You got that nice opening cockpit that you can pop up and boom. And you can even see down inside of the fighter there through the window. You can see the, the pilots like right here on this side and the gunner. Is right here on this other side looking out the back window taking care of business together here is a top down look into the cockpit through the that's actually got the orange glass windows there too and then finally a bottom view of the ship this thing is awesome and i love love the red paint detailing that they put on the tips of that to like you know show it it's where it's at let's get this guy into some final thoughts guys some final thoughts on this Special Forces TIE Fighter. I highly recommend this. This is a great pickup. If you're, even if you're out there chasing the, the rares and the chases, this is still a really great pickup, a great army builder. Uh, I'd love to get a hold of uh, a couple more of the, or actually one more of the regular, because I got the regular First Order TIE Fighter from the last wave or the wave before that. I think it is even light armor class, but all that aside, just to have, you know, the, the guard or the, the flanks and then you got the middle guy throwing it down. I uh, I really do dig this and kind of curious to see how long it's going to take to get the Poe and the Finn version of this and or if they actually do little figurine packs that they'll sell with uh, just to fill up those other slots in the, in the Micro Galaxy Squadron uh, vehicles that don't have, you know, figurines in it. Like... The tr troop transport from the rebels that's sitting in clogging shells that should have had like six stormtroopers in that thing or uh like a higher ranking couple of troopers or officers to go with that because that's how you usually saw it in the show you had you had people in the troops and and anyway i guess to keep it cheap and at its price point they didn't add any more to it but come on guys don't skimp out on us totally love this stuff love the detail in good quality models great for your collection and friendly to the shelf space what it's more is there to say guys the force is strong with this one thanks again for watching my channel guys y'all make sure to like share subscribe all the stuff down below i'm not gonna time it too much too much of your time but to say thank you again to everybody that's watching and or subscribing and helping my channel continue to grow thanks again for watching this quick review uh you guys have an excellent and safe week out there it's monday night May the force with you be with you all, always. Thanks again for watching, guys.